Our solar system's eighth planet, Neptune, is more than just a blue dot in the sky. It has rings, a thin atmosphere, and a rocky core. But what else? Let's find out. But rings only about one kilometer wide. That's thinner than a sheet of paper. And they're intermediate in complexity. Saturn's rings are more extensive but simpler in some ways, while Jupiter's rings are more extensive and more complex. Below Neptune's rings is a thick layer of atmosphere that's about 100 times as thick as Earth's. The atmospheric pressure is about 90 times greater than Earth's and the temperature reaches about 210 degrees Celsius. But what's below the atmosphere? Scientists think there's a rocky core at the center of Neptune, just like the Earth. But that's about all we know for sure. We don't even know how big the core is. It could be the size of Earth's core, about 8,000 kilometers wide. Or it could be the size of Neptune's entire mantle, 40,000 kilometers wide. That's the size of over 10,000 football fields, and that's what we're exploring today, the very center of Neptune. When Voyager 2 passed by Neptune in 1989, it revealed a world of blue. The deep blue color comes from the planet's atmosphere, which is mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. The methane absorbs red and infrared light and reflects blue, giving the planet its beautiful, iconic color. But what does the inside of Neptune look like? That means that one centimeter on the model represents 10 kilometers on the planet. So let's take a closer look. This is the rocky core of Neptune. It's about the size of Earth's core and has a radius of 1,000 kilometers. But unlike Earth's core, we don't know much about it. We don't even know if it's solid or liquid, but we do know that it's incredibly hot, with temperatures reaching over 6,000 degrees Celsius. Above the core is the mantle. It's a thick layer of rock, ice and gas that's about 20,000 kilometers wide. The pressure here is so great that it squeezes the rock into a form of ice called Ice 7. Above the mantle is the crust. It's a thin layer of solid ice that's about 500 kilometers thick, and above that is the atmosphere. It's a thick layer of gas that's about 100 times as thick as Earth's atmosphere. So next time you look up at the night sky and see the blue dot of Neptune, remember that it's more than just a dot. It's a planet with a rich history and a bright future, and maybe one day we'll get to explore it for ourselves. Thanks for coming along on this journey to the center of Neptune.